Well, we are all on Ezekiel Elliott watch right now. He was not on the team flight from Dallas to Oxnard, California yesterday to uh -oh. kick off training camp. Technically, he can still show up this morning for physicals and a conditioning test before he's considered late. There have been reports that Zeke could hold out of camp for a new contract in Yahoo's Charles Robinson reported he's looking for a deal that would exceed the extension <clears throat> Todd Gurley signed last year for over $57 million. We're joined by Fox Football analyst Reggie Bush. Good doing? to have you back Morning. with us, Thank Reggie. You. How are you? Uh, so, million dollar question How should Zeke play this? Ooh, um, wow. That's, you know, that's a good question because rule number one to negotiating for a new contract is um, you got to be willing to go to distance, right? If you're going to hold out, you got to be willing to go to distance. Yep. And the, in the case of Zeke, if he never had an off the field issue, we wouldn't even be having this discussion right now because. <laughs> He is the best running back in the NFL that this league has to offer. Um, the stats back that up. Um, so much that I think he makes Dak better, maybe not the other way around. Uh, but listen, Zeke mm. is the best running back in the NFL. Um, there's no question who the offense flows through. Mm. And so to me, I, I thought he should have maybe waited one more year, mm. maybe had a, had a season of production, uh, an offseason of, of no yeah, issues and then go to the table mm -hmm. uh, and, and then he would maybe have more negotiating power then but right now he has two years left on his contract yep the Cowboys can lock him up for seven years if they want to yeah. right the fifth yeah. year option plus two, two years of franchise mm -hmm. tags yeah um, or they could just trade him if they wanted to because he just turned 24 mm -hmm. years old mm -hmm. um, his trade value would never be higher than what it is right now and you know there has to be one team out there that feels like they're one running back away from the Super Bowl, maybe a team like mm. the Houston Texans, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so to me, uh, if there's any, if there was a running back that could challenge this far out with this many years left on the contract, it's Zeke. Mm. Did you ever hold out? I never held out. Did you ever think about holding out? Did you ever discuss it with your representative? <clears throat> yeah, I definitely dis discussed it and, and, and talked about it, um, especially my last year in New Orleans where mm -hmm. they wanted to, to cut me and and uh, you know they wanted me to take a, a significant pay cut, so yeah. I definitely thought about holding out. But yeah. ultimately, we ended up with the trade to Miami. Okay, so wh why didn't you, in the end, hold out? It just the trade came before you could the get. Trade, to the trade okay. came before, and because of the nature of that situation, in 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 New Orleans, I felt like I was never going to get that shot to be the every down back that I wanted to prove that I could be. Because as you know, in Coach Payton's offense, they use a multitude of backs, right? right. They use a number of running backs. So for me, I felt like. Well, taking a pay cut and not getting the same amount of opportunity didn't make sense. And Miami did not cut your pay? No. And okay. Miami, and they made me an every down running back. Okay. And, and a ball, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. For me, um, I disagree. I believe Zeke has led the league in rushing twice in his first three years. He got suspended for six games in year two, mm -hmm. and he averaged more yards per game than any of those backs. So that tells me if he plays all 16, he leads the league again. So mm -hmm. three years of leading the league in rushing, he plays the most physically demanding position in all of football, mm -hmm. which is the running back position. He understands. He's seen what they've done. Yeah. They did it to DeMarco Murray. They ran him into the ground. See, what they're trying to do, and, and Zeke knows this, and you, you, you touched on this, Reggie, they can lock him up for seven years, Skip. This is his fourth year. They pick up his fifth-year option two years of the franchise tag. So in other words, you squeeze all the juice out the lemon, and mm -hmm. then what do you do? If you don't like lip, you throw it in the trash. Mm -hmm. And Zeke's like, no, 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 no. If y'all gonna give me 300, because he's a bell cow back, meaning he's gonna get 300 plus carries every single year. He's probably gonna be around 350 touches every single year because mm -hmm. he can also catch mm -hmm. the ball now. Mm -hmm. So you tack on 310, 315 carries, another 55, 60, 70 catches a season, He's around 400 touches. You only got so many of those seasons in you. Yeah. Mm. You only have so many of those in you. Mm. So he knows, nah, nah. And I agree with you. The only leverage that a player has in, 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 in um, football is the possibility of holding out. Or not. And, you need, and you have to be willing to go to distance, Skip. Yeah. And that's normally when you're going to hold out, you've already thought about it a year before. Because yeah. you got all your ducks aligned. You've mm -hmm. dotted all your I's. You've crossed all your T's. And you know, if you're mad, you say, look here. We ain't spending anything excess. Mm -hmm. We're not getting any modifications to the house. We're not buying a new car. We're not going on vacation. Mm -hmm. We're saving everything because there's a chance this might go into the season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go into the season, Skip. You know, you get paid by the game. You ain't playing games, you get no check. Mm -hmm. But money's still going out because you got a mortgage, you got car no, got kids in private school, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, what so, the, that's what the league is banking on. Yeah. banking on that. And don't think the Cowboys don't know 
Zeke's mm. spending habit. Because uh -huh. I know for a fact, they look at Ray and oh, <laughs> oh, you got this, this, and this going out. Yeah. Look at your little bag of caca, you know. Big Jerry, you know, Jerry, all the big banks, they, you know, they want to do business with Jerry. Mm. What, do, what do Zeke got in the account? Mm. So I they know, but Zeke is doing it right. Now is the time yeah. because... Guess what, Skip? You say in order, you say they're going to the Super Bowl. Well, in order for them to go to the Super Bowl, Zeke's gonna probably have to have somewhere between 1,500 and 1,800 rush yards, mm. and it's gonna take somewhere between 325 and 400 carries in order for him to get that. Maybe not. Okay. Got Amari Cooper now. Yeah. Things changed. <laughs> His team went seven and one down the stretch last year after Amari joined. And as much as I love and respect my man Reggie Bush, he stepped in it to start this segment off because you, you're a running back by trade mm -hmm. and you have lost perspective on just how valuable Dak Prescott is to this team. This is the bell cow is number what four. What did the execs say? Well, you know, Mark yeah, Sandoval, yeah. what did they say? What, what, uh, what, no, did what, what was the first quote he used? It, I'm going to have to paraphrase it, but the anonymous exec said, you know what? Dak could be a one. He may just be having a year this could. year where he's going to make you say, wait a second, he should be in the number one tier. But what about the guys that no. were tier one? Huh. They say they are tier one. They know could be. They are. Mm -hmm. The most underestimated, underappreciated quarterback in all of football is the leader of the Dallas Cowboys, Dak Prescott. He set the all-time record for quarterback completion percentage in his first three years of any quarterback in their first three years in the league. And he led this whole league over the last three years in game-winning drives. Mm -hmm. He torched the division rival he put him behind. twice last year. No, mm -mm, he yeah. brought him back. All the biggest plays made over the last three years were by the quarterback with his arm and occasionally with his legs. So the point is, he's more valuable just given the position he plays now, than 21 see that, is. See, that's, where you flaw, see, that's your flaw thinking. Mm. You think just because he's the quarterback, he's more valuable. No, Skip. They built this team around his ability to run the football. And you talk about when Lamar showed up. Do you... Reggie, if you average 102 yards rushing per game, mm -hmm. how many Pro Bowls and how many first-team All-Pros are you going to miss? Not, None. not many. <laughs> 1,600 yards, that's what he would average. Yeah. Help me out until week eight last year over Jack's first three years. Who was his go-to receiver? Who was his one receiver? Uh, oh, I, nobody. Yeah. Des yeah. Bryant Gallup, thought he was. Gallup, yeah. uh, uh, no, uh, right, no right. Des was cut. Michael yeah. Gallup. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just yeah. saying over yeah. the, the previous oh, yeah, the two previous, years, yeah, 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 it was they, supposed to be Des. They yeah, had yeah. no rapport, right. no trust, no right. connection. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a disaster right. because Des hit the physical wall right. and he mm -hmm. was a shell of himself. Amari came and life changed. That's why I'm picking this team because the team I saw down the stretch last mm -hmm. year is going to be the best team in the, the NFC this year. So the point is, I always trust Jerry Jones on salary cap issues. Mm -hmm. He loves Zeke as much as you are trying to love Zeke just because you hate the Cowboys. No, so I love you, Zeke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Skip, why do you think they can't play coverage on Amari? Because you got to drop the eighth guy down in yep. the box to stop Zeke. Uh, Zeke. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, watch how long that lasts this year because Michael Gallup will emerge. And all of a sudden, we got Randall Cobb in the slot, who's a little bit of an upgrade over Cole Beasley. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, footballs are going to be flying all around, and it's going to open stop up it. rush lane. Will you stop it with this Michael Gallup? The only Gallup I know famous is the pole. He's going to be galloping past <laughs> safeties this year. The president. Galloping past safeties on deep that. balls. He's he, going to be a deep threat. Now, if you saw uh, who, if they had Julio, I'm like, okay, yeah. Or they got yeah. A.B., they got Mike yeah. Evans, or oh, they all like, oh, don't, hey. don't forget little Tavon, yeah. too. Tavon's still there. They he can run behind. Tavon. Tavon. Ain't heard from Tavon in three. Tavon is a hey, gadget. We, we heard from yeah. him a couple times Skip, last year. He's a gadget guy. Mm. Will you stop this? He caught a couple of deep balls. He's like, what they, just, they don't use him. Hey, they literally don't against, use him. Wait a second. In the playoff win over Seattle, he was returning punts like a demon. Skip. He looked almost like a Reggie Bush. Guy. Skip. Skip. <laughs> he's a gadget guy. He's one of these guys. You know, you know one of these hats where you go to the mm. stadium and they got the hat on and you got beer on both sides. Oh, yeah. you can drink on <laughs> he, that's what he is. He's a gadget. Mm. That's he's that nice. Guy? He's cute. Like, come on. He ain't that. Like, come on now. That's what he is. That's just he's a fancy little gadget. <laughs> Skip, what, yeah. Think about it. Mm. Sean McVay mm. could come up with schemes and get everybody involved. Yep. Mm. Sean McVay couldn't get him involved. Mm. He goes to Dallas and you say, oh, oh Tamar, mm. we got Tamar. Mm. Skip, how long before you give up? <laughs> give up. It's not give up. I got a new coordinator. I got Kellen Moore. You've been I -I back and forth on <laughs> him. But before we go on, yeah. the latest on Zeke, NFL Network is reporting. Still no sign of him. His agent and the Cowboys have had talks. They are not.
close. That is mm. the latest we're you hearing. Definitely, skip, you definitely so showing up. Okay, so I got to refer back quickly to the Charles Robinson tweet. He of Yahoo Sports does an excellent job, but he says that he's hearing that Zeke now wants more than Todd Gurley, as you yeah. just in your league. Substantially Does he more. deserve it? I think sure he, he does. Yeah. Well, what, what would you ask for if you were Ezekiel Elliott? Would you ask for a Latavius Murray money? No, you'd ask for Todd Gurley yeah. money. I so am I shocked more. by right. this? No. <laughs> right. But here's the good news to all this that Charles Robinson goes on to say, which would mean Dallas could eventually have three players, including Dak and Amari, mm. among the top three salaries at their positions. Mm. That's a great problem to have. That means they're really talented players. Yeah, but you play yeah. three You play th three guys on your own roster. Mm -hmm. Top three money, yep. that's a lot of people got to mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. So what about Jalen Smith? Mm -hmm. What he going to want? Mm -hmm. What about Byron Jones? What he going to want? He'll mm -hmm. get his money. Now, you know Tyron Smith? You know Smith? what? You're, you're just making forget, my case. Uh, Van Der Esch. You're, you're, you're talking. Oh, yeah. oh the wolf on him. Yeah. Oh. He's going to have to get paid, too. He's just a baby. He's just a baby. Yeah, he's going to want But if he want to hold out you know in another year or two. Me? You're telling me this is a loaded football team. Yeah. Am I right? That's weighted down. Am by, I right? That's weighted down by your wow. coach and your quarterback. And we got the cap master pulling the strings. <laughs> yeah. Jerry Jones, that's what he does best. Yeah. I can't defend all of his football decisions, but when it comes to money, Better not better against Jerry Jones. But you know what you got? You got Secretariat, mm. but you got a sumo wrestler trying to win the Kentucky Derby. Okay. <laughs> so you got somebody holding him back, Skip mm. Bayless. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I think we're good to go. Okay. And if, if Zeke shows up like you predict a week before the opener, I'm good. I know you all are. Right, good. He's not if he play. shows up a week before without a new contract, then he's lost all the leverage. Right? That's this true. is much different than when Emmitt Smith held out in 93, like we talked about a couple of days ago, yep. when all, he, all the Cowboys had to do was lose two games mm -hmm. and he had a contract. The next day. Right? That's so interesting. Jerry will fix this. Just watch. Come on. Watch. I, I said it here. I mean, yeah. If I'm Dak, I'm like, hold on. Y'all taking care of Zeke? Mm. Okay. Right. Well, I, then I that creates see, a whole see, different. Shannon's just trying to, to create decision <laughs> in the money. locker room. That's all I you want. want. My no, <laughs> you want to derail my, my Cowboys. Money is due. Because you're afraid I'm right about how good they're going to no, be. This I, year. Hey, yeah. come on. I can't yeah. pay my light bill, my gas bill, my phone bill, and mm. then neglect the mortgage. Talk about mm. what I pay. No, no, no. They mm. say, I want my money, too. Mm. Yo, you going to pay Zeke? Mm. But you ain't going to give me my bread? Oh, mm. okay. But you skip Bayless, and you say, I'm the most important player. I'm the most valuable player. You say, I got the hot. Hey, Skip, read them stats off to Jerry Jones. Mm. I got the most, <laughs> over the last three years, I got the most fourth quarter game winning mm -hmm. drives. Yep. I got the highest completion percentage in my first money. three years. He's going to get I, his no, money. No, no, no. I he will be the first to get his money. You I watch. Need walk it to okay. him. I need to walk it to him money, too. Okay, fine. Means, uh, Zeke that was the most overpaid continues. contract in NFL history. <laughs> On our it might end. even be watch worse it. than Kirk Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Still a sore subject yeah. for me. Uh, will NFL defenses be able to stop Kyler Murray? We'll discuss him next. Mm.